Hey everybody, hopefully you're having an awesome day today. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and comments below on your thoughts and opinions on the video. This video is going to be just an overview of this new ISC squared certification, some new entry-level cybersecurity certification for you guys looking into breaking into the cybersecurity industry or building out your cybersecurity career. It seems like this certification would be similar or competitor to the CompTIA Security Plus certification. And ISC Squared is known for the CISSP certification, which is well known and coveted in the cybersecurity industry. Let's get to it here. 1 million certified in cybersecurity, closing the global workforce gap with 1 million free exams and courses. Sounds pretty doggone good if you ask me. We need more cybersecurity personnel out here to help secure these organizations so we can see less and less data breaches or cyber attacks in our environment. And if you've been in the cybersecurity industry already, this is good because due to the worker shortage, it tends to reduce a lot of burnout. IC Square pledges 1 million free certified in cybersecurity courses and exams to yourself in cybersecurity. You don't need experience, just the passion and drive to enter a demanding and rewarding field, one that opens limitless opportunities worldwide. Of course, it just explains what this is about. Start your journey, creating accounts. Seems pretty straightforward here. Now, in regard to certifications, in my opinion, you do not need any certifications or degrees to work in this field, but they do help. They help get your foot into the door, help bypass those automated analysis tools for resumes and such. It, help, it can help you get past those filters in order to get a interview possibly, but it doesn't guarantee a job. We all know this, or you should know this. FAQs, why is ISC developing this certification? Of course, they're trying to fix the global shortage of qualified cybersecurity professionals, which has been in news headlines all over the place for you know, the past few years or so or whatever. Certify, what is this entail? This entry-level certification will, will prove to employers you have the foundational knowledge, skills, and abilities to necessary or necessary for an entry-level or junior-level cybersecurity role. It provides your willingness and ability to learn and grow on the job. Okay, yeah, that sounds similar to Security Plus provides. Who should consider participating in this opportunity? I just list out what it's for, IT professionals, career changers, college students, recent grads, events high school students, or recent graduates. Unlike other IC squared certifications, there's no work experience required, entry level. Let's see here, why it's different from other ones. We still believe this, blah, blah, blah. Employers need confidence that they're hiring new entrants, right concepts, demonstrated aptitude to learn the job. Moreover, as a IC squared certification the recipient will be an IC squared member, backed by the world's largest network of certified cybersecurity professionals helping blah, blah, blah. So it seems like the biggest benefit out of this would be or over the Security Plus would be you'll, you'll become a member of IC Squared, which is great. It provides a lot of resources and such. Networking with other IC Squared members, help build out your networking with other professionals and such. It's online self-paced. Let's see, cover five domains of entry level sort of Certified type security certification sessions are generally designed specifically to help learners prepare to take the certified cybersecurity exam. Learners have access to the course for 180 days. So that seems like plenty enough time to get this training knocked out and going and taking this exam. Let's see. Yes, you can take the exam anytime you feel ready. So you don't even need to take the course. So you can just go out and take the exam, apparently. How do I register? It goes over that. Of course, you got to schedule it and such. And from my experience of scheduling these IC squared exams, they're hosted at like person view testing centers. And there's only one in my city. And when I showed up, there was a long line of people. There's probably at least 10 to 15 people in front of me. So make sure you properly schedule your exam and show up early so you can get in and signed in so you can take the exam on time. You don't want to be late to these exams. How long is the exam? 100 multiple choice questions, linear exam format. You get two hours to take the test, so that's a plenty of time. Only 100 questions, and you get two hours max. You cannot skip an exam item, return to it later. So make sure you're paying attention to those questions and answer to the best of your ability for you to move on to the next question, because apparently you can't go back. Had enough to pass the exam, it'll 
Received a pass or fail result at the testing center at the completion of the exam, which is great. You get that little test printout said, hey, congratulations, you passed this exam. Take the exam online, only available in person. Okay. Exam available worldwide. Those are other stuff. Language, blah, blah, blah. blah. Let's see, annual maintenance fee is only 50 bucks. It's due upon certification. Let's see, as an employer, what does it mean if a candidate has its certification? Those who pass this exam have proven their knowledge, skills, and abilities in the fundamentals of cybersecurity. They have a proficient understanding of policies and processes and have demonstrated their commitment to further cybersecurity education and development. Awesome. So this seems like a direct competitor to the Security Plus certification. But this has an added feature of you become a member of IC Squared, which act gives you access to various different networking tools and other types of tools out there provided by IC Squared. So if this aligns with your career goals, your overall career plan, what have you, go ahead and check this out and see if it catches your interest. And if it does, go ahead and sign up for it and good luck on passing the exam. Thank you.